Hello students, myself Suresh Vyas. Welcome back to my channel. Let us continue the lesson, the summer of the beautiful white horse. In the last class we have seen that a farmer named John Bayro visited Aram's house and informed his mother that he had lost a horse one month before. He was very sad and disappointed. But Angel Kuso shouted him, telling that there was no need to pay any attention to his words. So the disappointed man went out of Aram's house after having a drinks and smoking. Then the mother said, such a big man is really knowing nostalgia or he was suffering from nostalgia or homesickness. Immediately, Aram ran to the house of Murat in order to inform about John Bayro's visit. So let us continue the lesson. Please take page number 7. The farmer went away and I ran over to my cousin Murat's house. He was sitting under a peach tree. When he reached there, he saw that Murad was sitting at a peach tree. What was he doing? He was trying to repair the hot wing of a young robin which could not fly. There he was repairing or nursing a bird, repairing the hot wing of a bird, robin, a kind of bird, robin. And while repairing or nursing it, at the same time, he was talking to the bird. What is it, he said, when he saw Aram came running by. He asked, what happened? What is it? The John Bayro, the farmer, visited our house. He wants his horse. You have had it a month. Hey, Murad, John Bayro, the farmer, visited my house. And he is searching for his lost horse that you had been using for one month. Now Aram understood very well that Murad has been riding this horse for almost one month. I want you to promise not to take it back until I learn to ride. Now I want to get a promise from you. You have to promise me. Don't give back this horse until I learn. Surely we will think that he wanted to tell Aram, sorry Murad to give back the horse immediately. Instead of that, he said, don't give back the horse until I learn to ride. It will take a, almost a year to learn to ride, my cousin Murad said. A man, you will take almost one year to learn to ride. We could keep the horse a year, I said. Then Aram said, in that case, we will keep the horse for one year. My cousin Murad leaped to his feet. Immediately, my cousin Murad, he jumped up. As if in a shock. What? What do you say? He roared. He shouted. Are you inviting a member of the Garav clan and family to steal? Are you asking a member of the Garav clan and family to steal? Already we have seen that the members of Garav clan and family are famous for their honesty and truthfulness. They are well known for this from many centuries. The horse must go back to the true owner. Hey, the horse must be given back to the true owner, he said. When? When are you going to give back it? In six months at the latest, he said. We thought that he is going to. No, surely we will think that he is going to give back the horse the next day. Well, what did he say? At the most in six months. He is going to keep the horse for almost six months. He threw the bird into the air. Now he threw the bird into the air. Was it able to fly now? The bird tried hard. At the beginning it tried hard to fly. Almost fell twice. Almost it fell two times. But at last flew away high and straight. At last the bird flew away first high then straight away. Early morning, every morning for two weeks, my cousin Murad and I took the horse out of the barn of the deserted vineyard where we were hiding it and tore it. 
So you can see that every day morning, Morad and Aram go, go to the deserted vineyard where the horse was kept or where the horse was hidden and they took the horse for riding. They continued it for two weeks. When it was my turn to ride alone, leaped over grapevines and small trees and threw me and ran away. But you see that what a tragedy it is. When the turn of the chance of Aram came, the horse jumped over the vines, vines as well as the small trees and made Aram to fall down. So it happened every day. It continued every day. And you see that nevertheless I hoped in time to learn to ride the way my cousin Murat taught. But even then, Aram had a hope. He would be able to learn to ride the horse as Murad was riding. So he was sure that one day he would learn it. One morning on the way to Fidwajin's deserted vineyard, we ran into the farmer John by him. So one day you can see that both of them were yes, taking the horse from Fidwajin's vineyard for riding. Actually, they came upon them as they met John Bairo, who was going to the town. He was on his way to town. Let me do the talking. My cousin Morad said, I have a way with the farmers. Immediately he said, Morad said, Yaram, you need not to talk to him. I will talk to him because I know how to talk with farmers. Good morning, John Bairo, my cousin Morad said to the farmer. He addressed him, Good morning, John Bairo. The farmer studied the horse eagerly. Once he saw the horse, he started to study the horse eagerly. He started to examine the horse eagerly. Good morning, son of my friends, he said, What is the name of your horse? A oh, good morning, son of my friends. They are the friends of John. Yes, they are the children of John Bairo's friends. So what is the name of my, so your horse? Murad said, my heart, he said in an Armenian language, the name of my horse is my heart. A lovely name, John Bayo said for a lovely horse, a very beautiful name for a beautiful horse. I could swear it is the horse that was stolen from my, me many weeks ago. I can swear, I can tell that it is the same horse. This is the same horse which has been stolen from my farmhouse. This is my horse, which has been stolen a few weeks ago from my farmhouse. May I look into its mouth? By looking into the mouth of the horse, we can identify it. So he asked me, shall I examine its mouth? Of course, Murad said. The farmer looked into the mouth of the horse tooth for tooth. Then he looked into the mouth of the horse and started examining tooth for tooth. I would swear it is my horse if I don't know your parents. Suppose if you don't know, if I don't know your parents, I would have said that this is my horse. The fame of your family for honesty is well known to me. You see that your family is well known for the honesty, truthfulness. That I know very well. So, the children of such a, belonging to such a family, want steel that I know. Yet the horse is the tin of my horse. So I think that this horse is looking the same like my horse which I have lost. Maybe the tin of my horse. A suspicious man would believe his eyes instead of his heart. A doubtful man always he will believe his eyes, not his heart, but I believe my heart. Good day, my young friends. So he said, he wished good day to them and went away from there. Good day, John Byro. Early the following morning, we took the horse to John Byro's vineyard and put it in the barn. You can see that both of them, Murad and Aram, took the horse to John Byro's farmhouse to keep the horse back there in the barn. The dogs followed us around without making a sound. That time, the dogs of John Byron followed them without making any noise. Aram was frightened. 
the dogs. I whispered to my cousin Murad. I murmured to my cousin Murad. You see, the dogs are there. He was frightened. I thought they would bark. I thought that they were going to bark. But you see that Murad was very cool and calm. And he said, they would bark at somebody. They may bark at somebody else. They don't bark at me because I know the ways with the dogs. My cousin Murad put the arms around the horse. You see that he embraced the horse. He put his arms around the horse and pressed his nose into the horse's nose. That means he kissed the, kissed the horse. He was very sorry to leave the horse. He was very sad to leave the horse. Patted it. He ran his hands over the horse. Patted it. And then he went away. Then both of them went away from there. That afternoon, John Bairo came to our house. That afternoon, you can see that John Bairo visits the house of Aram. And he came by his whole drawn vehicle or in his sarai. And showed my mother the horse that had been stolen and returned. And he showed Aram's mother his horse, which was stolen by somebody else. And he told that the horse was returned. I got back my horse, he said to his mother. I did not know what to think, I don't know what to say. He said the horse is a strange, stronger than ever. Now my horse is stronger than ever. I'm better tempered. And now it's good natural, it behaves well and it has changed a lot. I thank God, I got my horse back and now it is stronger also. My uncle Kuso who was sitting in the parlour, so uncle Kuso who was sitting in the visiting room heard all this conversation and he became irritated, he became very angry and shouted, quiet man, quiet, hey, keep quiet man, keep quiet. Your horse has been returned. Pay no attention to it. Anyhow, you got back your horse. Pay no attention to it. Uncle Kuso shouted. Dear students, I hope all of you understood this part. Please, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you.